Tingle, tingle, kaloo, limpa! Good morning, I'm your Uncle Grandpa! Oh wait, no I'm not. Howdy guys and gals, I'm your host today, Silent Senior 9 and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Hope you all are doing excellent today! I know it's not September yet, you know, for that new show that's being that's been announced lately, and I've been seeing advertisements all over the place for it. I think on Cartoon Network mainly, but... Um, hey, that's just a nice, uh, what's it called? Pep talk to say, or not pep talk, that's just another message for me to say, get excited. Get pumped! Get excited! Get pumped! Okay, stop it. Just, just seriously, dude, calm your freaking tail feathers. Calm them, man! You need to calm them down! Okay, what, wait, what was that? Oh, sorry. I'm getting distracted again. Alright, so, uh, we have recently received three masks. The first one was the Keaton mask. The second one was the Postman's Hat, which isn't necessarily a mask, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, you know, it, it goes on our head somewhere. And then, of course, we have the Couple's Mask, which is probably one of the weirdest masks you can probably have on, but it's a mask nonetheless, and these masks all have a purpose for them. So, without a further ado, let's go ahead and demonstrate the first one. The first one is the Keaton Mask, and what you want to do is you want to come up to this bed of grass, that once you cut it, it uh, it starts running away from you. You want to have the mask on you, on your face rather. Charge up for a spin attack. I do believe you need to see the Great Fairy and the Woodfall Temple, so you need that power up actually to do this. Otherwise, if you don't, have at it and have fun. So without our further ado, I've been holding back so long. Ooh, let's let it loose. <laughs> okay, that, that was highly unnecessary, but that's okay. Because you all know me, I, I'm very, I do things that are very unnecessary all the time. Oh well then, this is an interesting creature. Quite a specimen, fine specimen day, let's get a photographer picture that. Oh wait, no. <laughs> oh. Hello child, if you are attempting to fool me, it is impossible. We kittens can recognize our own by the sheen of our tails. Well can't you see my tail? I let it fly up all the time, man. Even though I tell people not to let their tails fly up, you know. But you're a good child. Let me put you to the test. No, you don't have a tail, so don't try it. Oh, okay. Answer me this. Pick one of the three choices. Okay, so. Keaton here likes doing riddles and questions. And basically, their question, their, um, whatchamacallit. They are comprehensive, recollect questions, and they're... Basically, random ant, random quenches, que quenches, questions about anything, and there are. Let me see if I got. A, I got a list here that says how many. You get twelve clock town questions, nine Romani ranch questions, a question about Gorons, a question, three questions about Zoras, four questions about Tingle, and one question about Skull Kid. So, without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and do our best. Um, I studied before we did this, so hopefully, I got it right. So the first one says, what does the owner of the bomb shop call his mother? Oh, we remember that, actually. I remember. It was kind of funny, too. He's like, I made, gave him, like, this Eeyore voice, and he ended up calling his mother Mommy. Mommy. You know. Alright, second question. Maiku is which race? He is a Zora. Or was a Zora. He's now dead, though, technically. If they had one that's, like, necrophilia, maybe that might be it. Or No, that... What are you talking about, dude? Disgusting fool. Or, no, not really. Uh, anyway, just shut up. What time does Romani, the girl at the ranch, go to bed? Now, this is kind of creepy to know this, so I don't know why they want you to. But apparently she goes to bed at 8 o'clock in the evening. Alright, question four. What does the name of the song... What is the same name? Not the... What does the name do? What is the name? That would probably be upon a song, I believe. Answer you this, okay. How many mailboxes are there in Clocktown? Um, gee, I don't know. After doing that episode or two behind us, yeah, I wouldn't know anything about it. There's only five of them in town. Hee hee ho! Good, very good. Take this prize. Da 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 da. Yay, a piece of heart. Let us meet again, child. Hee hee ho! Funnily enough, there actually are only two other places you can meet up Keaton, because I think once you meet up with him, and maybe say you fail his quiz, 
you actually only ha you can only chop up the grass with the Keaton mask and make him appear once per uh, a questionnaire. After that, if you mess up, you have to find a new patch of grass, and there's only three opportunities really to do it. It's kind of weird. So the second mask, or hood, I should say, is the mailman's hat. And there really is no use for this other than to maybe talk to people and see what reaction you get. Or you can talk to the mailboxes. I'm telling you, man, this is kind of a cool job. Who knew mailboxes have so much to say? Anyway, if you talk to a mailbox wearing the postman's hat, you get a piece of heart, so yay for that. Nice work! Ka-ching! Yay! And I'm talking too much in this episode, I can feel it, my throat's getting dry again! <gasps> Take a deep breath, man. Seriously, just breathe. Breathe, dang it! Breathe, darn you, breathe! Okay. So now we're in the mayor's residence. If you remember a long time ago, we actually talked to the mayor, so let's go ahead and talk to him again. Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and Carnival members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Um, well... You cowards! You actually believe the moon will fall! The confused townfolk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous, groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Uh, well, yes, uh, that's true. Are you serious, Muto? It seems that giant chunk of Rockabos hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly. It's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vincent. We councilmen will stick to tradition. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayo Doctor? Uh, <coughs> let's not bring my wife into this, please. Mm hmm, yes. Hmm. This sounds like a boring meeting. You guys done yet? Huh? All must take refuge! On with the carnival! Man, stubborn oafs. Let's end this by uh, putting on the weird mask known as the couple's mask. Oh! Uh. Oh! The couple's mask, what a nice reminder. And it's so a young couple has been married. I wonder, did my wife flee? What? What did you just say? Yes, yes, everyone, we are all worried for our families. Why don't we end this meeting? But, Mr. Mayor! This will do, whether you're stubborn and will stay and guard your family, or if you'd prefer to run far away and seek shelter, that is for people to decide on their own. Hmm. You go, Mayor. Yeah! Thank you for allowing me to put an end to all that pointless bickering. Adults are all so stubborn, it is shameful. Here is a token of my gratitude. Aw, you didn't have to do anything, but okay. I have no idea why I just suddenly started going off uh, Legend of Zelda the two or Legend of Zelda 2 Link's Adventure tune, but for whatever reason it called for it. Aw, check that out. This guy looks really bummed. What's up, dude? Captain Vincent! The mayor order mayor's orders are absolute. So, the gate guards are still standing by? Standing by! Cripes! Aww. <laughs> That's a crying shame, but oh well. He'll get over it, especially since we'll be saving the world. Or something, or trying to prevent everybody from dying at least, I don't know. Who knows? Alright, so, without a further ado, if we take a look at our bomber's notebook, ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have solved everybody's problems except for one person, strangely. You have to actually redo the cafe, cafe quest. Excuse me, I almost messed up the guy's name again. And you have to 
go all the way through all this stuff, you know, meeting the people at the right times, giving letters and all that jazz, and then you have to get Mama's letter from Cafe and deliver it to her as opposed to what we did last time, which was we helped out the postman and went ahead and grabbed, um, had him give us the postman's hat because he went ahead and hand delivered it if he's looked down here. So anyway, I will meet you guys on the third final night with Mama's letter, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take care of the last quest in the game, or not last quest, the last trouble in the game and all that fun stuff. See you guys later! Okay, so we're back. We are now at the milk bar with the uh, Mama's letter, which took quite a bit of uh, time doing. Nonetheless, though, let's go ahead and do this. You have to wear the cafe mask and talk to Madame Aroma in order to complete this quest. Oh dear, you're the one searching for Cafe. How is it? Have you found him? Sure have, Big Mama. Oh dear, Priority Mail. Oh, this! It's from Cafe, correct? Correct? Oh, wonderful! You really are an expert. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. My thanks. Yes, yes, it's your job after all. We got a bottle of Chatu milk. Sweet! Yeah, we already know what this stuff does. So you delivered a son's sentiment to his mother. Nice. I'm sorry. At this moment in time, I can give you only something like this. Actually, I wanted to give this to you sooner. Really? Really? Uh-huh. I don't buy it for a second. You wanted some proof, and I had to go out of my way and get it anyway. So, if we take a look at the mommer... Mommers? Mommers? Really? Bomber's Notebook. We will find that every person has a ribbon next to their name. And we have successfully... I keep whistling for some reason when I talk. That's weird. We have successfully helped every person in trouble, or at least 20 people that mattered, apparently, to this game, that needed their uh, problems solved by somebody, or somebody who's willing to care, you know? Somebody in the world has to care every once in a while. Because, I mean, if you look at it, Every day, people sometimes have this nasty habit of just wrapping themselves up in their own little world, and then basically, you wind up with a whole lot of just pure chaos, you know, and nobody really caring that there's chaos going around, and people could really use some help, you know, whether it's just a hug, or just a pat on the back, or just something simple, you know, but anyway. So, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and gals. Love you all very much. Please don't let your tails fly up. And in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and save the world. Oh yeah, son and daughters of mine. We're going to do this! We're going to do this! Tomorrow! Eventually! Like we're the procrastinators. Indeed. Anyway, bye. <laughs>